Hey friends, welcome to day 24 of Advent. Day 24, it's the last filmed video of Advent. I am technically doing a 25th day of Advent. Tomorrow is my regularly scheduled live show. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and do it even though it's Christmas Day. Happy Christmas Eve, by the way. But tomorrow is Christmas Day and I'm gonna go ahead and do my live show in the evening because most people are not traveling or able to spend time with their families this year. So even if it's just me and a couple of you that, you know, need some cheer, need some hanging out, need some chatting, we probably will not be actually be doing productivity sprints this time. Uh, we probably will just be chatting and hanging out, but I may throw in a few sprints um, just for fun. But definitely gonna be a hanging out night um, just so that people who don't have time to, don't have people to spend time with could come and hang out. And so I, I hope to see you there. Um, actually, I hope to not see you there because I hope that you have people that you're spending time with. I'm gonna be alone most of Christmas Day. Our family is traditionally a Christmas Eve family. This year it's just gonna be those of us who live on the farm anyway, so um, it'll be the same as Thanksgiving. There'll be like a group of like 10 of us who all have homes on the farm, so. So yeah, that's, that's where we are. Today is another viewer question. It comes from Kate Cavanaugh, and her question is, how much does what you're currently reading influence your writing? Typically, what I'm reading doesn't horribly influence my writing, especially if I'm reading outside of the genre that I am reading. Writing out, reading outside of the genre I'm writing? Yeah, that's it. You've heard me talk about this a little bit before this month during Advent and also last month, doing an early read of Emily Oliveri's book. And I made it, I don't even remember how far into the book I made it, maybe 30%. I was really enjoying it, but I did find that there were enough similarities between her book and my book that I didn't want to continue reading it. Um, not because I didn't like it or because I didn't, you know, feel like it was worth reading, but because I didn't want anything from her book to bleed over into mine. Like they were already similar enough. I didn't want anything that was in her story to stick to my brain and then make its way into my story. Um, they were similar enough without that help. And I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with stories being similar or um, two people starting off with the same prompt and writing a story because it's never going to be the same thing. It really is about the person writing the idea, not about the idea itself. Um, so I don't feel like there's any issue with me and Emily writing a very similar story. It's not like either one of us had any contact with the other while we were writing them. I've been working on mine for over a decade. She's been working on hers for years. So I don't feel like there's like any, there was never any crossover. Like in the meantime, we just had a similar idea and wrote a similar story. But I definitely think that there are, if something is extremely similar to what I'm writing, I think there's definitely a possibility of overlap and that was why I stopped reading that. So as far as like what I'm reading influencing what I'm writing, I would say only in the sense that because I do try to subvert tropes into my writing, if I see tropes multiple times that I either think were done really poorly or just weren't done well enough in a specific story, then I will kind of pull that trope in and see what I can do to subvert it. But I don't feel like I, I don't feel like anything that I've done has been like a expressly influenced by anything that I was reading. I've definitely rewritten things that I read something from someone else and went, wow, you could do way better than what you've been doing. Because look at like the the poetry and the amazingness this person wrote and you basically just like pooped on a piece of paper and called it a day. So it's definitely made me want to write better. It's made me want to be a better writer. It's made me want to be more knowledgeable about what I'm writing about and to try harder, but I don't know that it's necessarily influenced. So I, I take that as you will. Let's do our kind of sort of last creator spotlight because we'll have one tomorrow during the live show too. Let's do the last one that we're gonna pull from the shelves. So today's creator spotlight will be CB Friends. CB is a writing focused channel. She is an author. She is a teenager in college. Her channel is very new, so she has probably 12 videos, I think, up. She has started doing some live streams. She has advice on teens, and I think that's something that a lot of other author tube creators don't have. Um, because CB is a teen and she is like a modern day teen versus like, I mean, I've been a teen, but it was a long time ago. CB has advice not only on how to write teens well, but also advice for other teens on how to write. Both of those distinctions can be found 
on CB's channel. Plus she's just fun and bubbly and I like her. If you haven't checked out CB, definitely do. She's a fun one and I highly recommend. That is it for me today. Thank you for joining me for these advent videos. I'll do more of like a oh, thank y'all for joining me in the live show tomorrow. But I really do appreciate you joining me for the advent videos and I really do hope that you were able to find some new creators to love and enjoy during this season. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.